What is up guys? This is PC Gaming 300 back for another video here for you guys and in this video I'm going to be talking about RAM and specifically how much RAM you really need in your computer. Now there isn't really a fixed amount of RAM which I'll just go up to someone and say you need this amount of RAM because it really just depends on what you're doing with your computer and your price point. So in this video I'm basically just going to go over that and just uh, go over different price points and different categories of uses and I'll be talking about the RAM, the amount of RAM which should be best for that price point and that general and that use. Now these are just general guidelines and you, and you should definitely get the amount of RAM that is right for your specific need but hopefully this video will help for someone who is building a computer and just needs and is just confused with the amount of RAM they should have in their computer. So this video will hopefully definitely help you save some money. Now since most of you, since most of you guys are gamers, I'm going to start off with gaming. Now for a budget gaming PC, so for around 3 3 to 400 dollars, I would definitely recommend only 4 gigabytes of RAM. So this PC is mainly geared towards someone who doesn't have a lot of money and just wants to game. 4GB should do the job. This PC will also be able to do some other basic tasks such as word processing and web browsing. Those things should be done easily and it can also do some light video editing. You will definitely see some throttling when throttling when using higher end video editing software like Adobe After Effects or Sony Vegas. But you should be good. It's good for someone who just wants to game, just wants to do their basic things, and also maybe once in a while wants to put up a video on YouTube. But here, the thing is, with four gigabytes of RAM, you won't be able to record a lot, a lot of game, a lot of the higher end games like Battlefield 4, just because those games require around three to four gigabytes of RAM, so you won't have the resources to record. And even if you do, your game is gonna lag a lot anyway. Now, on a standard budget, so four hundred and fifty to eight hundred dollars. I would definitely recommend 8 gigabytes of RAM. You will definitely see a lot a lot more performance out of some some games like Battlefield 4 once again, Watch Dogs, Crisis 3, Metro, games like that, games like those will definitely benefit from the extra 4 gigabytes of RAM. So this PC is mainly geared towards someone who once again really is a gamer and wants to game but also wants to do some video editing on their computer. So and and also with this PC you should be able to Record your games. You should be able to record all your games easily. You should be able to multitask a bit better. Even the four gigabytes should be good enough to do the basic basic multitasking which people want. But yeah, it's 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 great for a YouTuber who is doing some who is a gamer and does semi-professional video editing. So someone like me who isn't too professional but isn't too casual with their video editing. So some something in between. So semi-professional video editing and a lot of gaming. So eight gigabytes should be the perfect amount of RAM for that usage. Now, if you're building a high-end system, so around $800 to $1,500, I would recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now you won't actually see any gaming performance increase because no game actually benefits from that amount of RAM. Most, The most any game will actually use out of your computer is 8. I've seen some games that actually will use 8 if it has that amount available to use and will benefit from it. But 16 gigabytes will not really give you much of an edge over 8 gigabytes as far as gaming performance do, does. it. Basically all it does is it'll help you with your video editing. So this PC is good for someone who wants to do a lot of gaming once again but it's also a professional video editor so a semi gaming semi video editing machine so you'll definitely benefit from the video, video editing point of view as you'll be able to render videos a lot faster faster you'll be able to mul edit multiple videos at once run multiple video games at once stuff like that and you'll just be able to it, mo it mostly just helps the video editing point of view and pretty much just takes out any boundaries which you have now, if you're building an editing system, so a PC geared towards editing, built for editing, kind of like a Mac Pro or something, but not that expensive, on a budget, you're going to be spending around $800 to $1,000, so on a, on a price point like that, I would recommend 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now, once again, as I mentioned earlier, 8 gigabytes is definitely enough to handle most or pretty much all high-end high editing software, such as After Effects, Premiere... Sony Vegas, Camtasia even, stuff like that, you should be able to handle pretty much with ease, I guess you could say. 
The only problem here is although it can edit the software while you're doing things like rendering, you will pretty much have to sit there and wait as your PC will run pretty slowly. Well, it'll run pretty slow while if you're trying to do other things while rendering. So, you, so it'll be difficult to edit multiple videos at once, render multiple videos at once. So that is the one disadvantage of 8 gigabytes, but it should be a good starting point for someone on a budget. Now, if you're building a standard video editing PC, so about $1,000 to $1,500, I would definitely recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM. As I mentioned, for the gaming build, 16 gigabytes of RAM, you will definitely uh, benefit from it if you're doing editing. So this PC is obviously geared towards editing. So, so with this computer, you won't actually see any... Once again, you it won't run smoother as far as the programs go, as far as the editing programs go, because they're already way too they already run pretty well on eight gigabytes. But basically, what this does is it allows you to get your work done faster, so you can edit multiple videos at once, you can render videos, multiple videos at once. So you don't have to actually sit there and wait till your twenty minute video renders for about an hour for for about an hour. So you don't have to sit there and wait for that. The, your videos will render faster as well. You'll be able to do some crazy multitasking. So it's really beneficial to an editor. Now, if you're building a high-end video editing machine, so I would say over $2,000, I would recommend 32 gigabytes of RAM. This doesn't really have any advantages uh, as far as performance goes, but basically all this does is takes down the boundaries. You can do some crazy multitasking. You could probably run five games at once edit three videos at once and render four videos at once and also have like a few or 10 or 20 Google Chrome pages open at the same time and you'll still won't see any throttling when you're in your computer's performance as long as you have the computer power for it obviously but basically all this does is takes down any boundaries lets you do what you want without any limits and that's the basic advantage to 32 gigabytes now, if you're building a workstation PC, mainly geared towards someone who wants something for their office work or something like that, which is kind of an office work and kind of basic computer as well, on a budget, you're going to be spending around $250, 300 to $400. On this budget, I would recommend 4 gigabytes of RAM. This is pretty much, I wouldn't even say this is a budget workstation, this is pretty much a standard work computer because 4 gigabytes is pretty much all you really need. Now, um... Multitasking will be pretty easy, so, so you can probably have 15 to 20 tabs open at the same time, even with 4 gigabytes of RAM, and you won't see too much of a performance loss. So, this is pretty much all you need for a workstation PC, and yeah, just the per perfect amount of RAM, as it will save you money, so you can put your other money towards better things, such as your processor, or something like that. Now, on a higher end workstation. I don't know if you would really call it a high end workstation computer, but I would recommend eight gigabytes of RAM. So around four to five hundred dollars. This basically all this really does is it allows for, for more multitasking. So if you want to get your things done really fast, you want to do multiple things at once, you want to get things done just really fast. Four gigabytes should be able to meet your needs, but eight gigabytes once again just takes out any limits, just lets you do whatever you want without any throttling. And that's basically it for that. Now, if you're building a web browsing PC, just a home computer, computer for basic use, I would really, I wouldn't really recommend building a computer like this, but I'll just recommend buying it pre-built. But if you are building something like this on a budget, you would be spending around $150 to $250. For this price point, I would recommend 2 gigabytes of RAM. All your basic, all your basic tasks such as Word app, Word processing, PowerPoint, uh, web browsing, all of those don't use too much of RAM, so two gigabytes should be fine. You will see a lot of throttle, throttling. You'll you will see some throttling when multitasking, but you should be fine. Now, one thing which I'd recommend is installing Windows 7 instead of Windows 8, just because the Windows 8 requires a gigabyte of RAM, whereas Windows 7 requires 500 megabytes. So you will be able to have an extra half a gigabyte of RAM if you install Windows 7 opposed to Windows 8. So you will see a benefit over there. Now, if you're building a standard home computer, home internet computer, I would recommend around, say, around $250 to $400. I would recommend 4 gigabytes of RAM. So, basically, all this does is, this is pretty much what I would recommend if you're building this type of computer. Basically, all this does is increase your multitasking capabilities. So, 
So you won't have to worry about your computer slowing down when multi multitasking. So you can run multiple Word app applications, run a lot of tabs at the same time, watch multiple videos at the same time. Just takes down any boundaries so that you don't have to worry about having a specific amount of tabs or windows open at the same time so that you can basically just takes out any limits. Now I hope this video helped you and helps you get a better understanding of how much RAM you really need in your computer. If you if this video helped you, please leave a like, please subscribe, share and favorite. Hope you guys had a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time.